Hi. This is Folktale. Here we are after some updates again to find out what is different or new. This is a snow biome, the hard map that is available. My village. The wall from Game of Thrones. It was a security problem. I will mention this later. And the monastery. I think. The last version I was playing was uh, 0.3.0. Huh. This version is 0.3.4.0 Alpha 23E. At the store page of this game is by developers written an exact percent of how much is the game completed. This percent is rather tentative, but still. It is a sign of some Unleash activity on, and progress. The person changed from something like 60 to 67 person. And as I said in the first video about this game, where I was confused about user reviews, I said that these reviews will change in the future. And I was right. What a surprise. An indie game in Early Access is not completed! Well, that's a good reason to start negative reviews. Right in how bad is such a game? Oh, I remember that time. Impossible to create enough food just for a few villages. Buildings at just one level? Now we have three! Broken notifications about food, disease or something else. Showing over and over again, even if the issue was solved. <laughs> oh, and no research cheese. Did I say cheese or research in plural form? <laughs> Damn it. Ah, where was I? Oh, what a lovely time. It's nice to see this progress. Interesting fact is that 67% of Steam user reviews are positive. 67%. The game is finished. Coincidence? I think not. Maybe this person will change as well. I wonder how much. At least uh, people who bought the game couldn't be misled by bad reviews. How exciting. New reviews oh, are rather positive, and most of the bad reviews are from the time this game started with early access on Steam. Move out. Faith in humanity restored. Okay. For a time. Just don't get distracted when you see and just so three maps, one special map that is not finished, just for heroes and tutorial. The campaign was locked, but everything will appear sometimes. Developers finished what they have to. And now my impressions from the new updates. <laughs> we have heroes! Yay! Well, <laughs> to be honest, every character in the game is some sort of a hero. So there is Sir Gregory, the knight. And Willow the healer. There are settings which controls both of them at the same time, or just one of them. Or you can set the other hero to follow the other one, or not. Controlling these heroes is <laughs> kind of weird. The camera is locked on them, which is something I would rather turn off, but I do not know how. My lord. Sir Gregory is classic tank, you should heal with Willow. However, Willow's spells are bad. I mean, she has a heal spell and then just another four spells that can only stun, and one of them is making slight aggro for this heal. Four stun spells? Oh dear. You don't click on anyway, the, like the bad this. thing. Here is targeting. 
What do you want to use your stun or heal? You are not sure who will be targeted. Imagine when enemies overrun your heroes. They are close to them and when you want to cast a spell, your characters are not glowing or something so you do not know who will be affected. Sometimes I healed an enemy or I stunned my heroes. Surprising is you can stun the caster like <laughs> Oh well, this fight is not going well for us, I can see my friends die. I will stun myself for a few seconds and maybe it will be better after that. Or worse. <laughs> Sir Gregory has abilities that can increase his stats. More strength, attack power or defense for a few seconds. Taunt, attack move. Deal in a slight damage and an attack finishing enemies with health below certain percent. So that was about heroes. Now you can create more armor and weapons at the blacksmith. However, from now, <laughs> however, from now on, every armor can be worn by a certain unit. City Watch can wear. Heavy armor, as well as Sir Gregory. Arbalest can wear chainmail armor or leather armor, and leather armor can be worn by some villagers as well. Like a hunter. <laughs> hunter. Or. <laughs> what the hell? Like a hunter or a woodcutter, which is reasonable. Because, well. These people are pretty often in the wilderness, so <laughs> yeah, it's reasonable. Confusing part is our weapons. You can craft and find really great weapons. So you are stunned when you find out that, for example, a strong mace can be worn only by a baker. Yeah? You want to equip your city wedge with a mighty axe, but no, that's for a woodcutter. And what about the great bow? Ah, that's for a hunter. At least hunters can help you with your defense. But what about other villagers with such weapons? Interesting is that every villager and soldier gets some experience and after some hours spent in the game they're more and more experienced. That means level up for your people. More hit points, stronger attacks, better resistance and that means you will not just send your units to certain death. You will save your best soldiers for something much more difficult. Marshall and Lily are level 5, for example. Thanks to them, you are able to defend your city every time the pack of werewolves come back. To fight. But you must help them train another soldiers. Make armor, weapons, and then your soldiers must get some experience so they will have better chances to win all the battles. What do you do in usual RTS game. How can I help? Okay. You just train soldiers and then you improve their attack and armor in some building. That's all. Here we have to spend some time with them before you use them for a real battle. In the previous updates it was pretty hard to satisfy needs of your villagers. That was fixed. Ha! <laughs> and one or one improved bakery can supply your villagers with a knob of bread. I mean like, I don't know, 50 people, for example. Do? Then you need other types of food. It is nice sometimes just watching some of your villagers, what are they doing all day, doing their job. Then buying a lunch, like vegetables, a bread fish or meat pie and then some alcohol. <laughs> I would love to see this even more improved. I mean, people waiting in the queue for bread. Possibility to see inner parts of the pub with 
musicians, tables filled with beer and people talking about danger behind walls. And you know, more interactions with your villagers. I think these things might appear in future. But just <laughs> please, maps, maps must be bigger, much bigger. Maps must be enormous, because right now it's too small. Yeah. Things I hated or were annoying are already fixed. That's good. The only thing that is still broken or weird is building walls. It seems that there is a problem to build walls on the hill. The ground must be even or your builders will be trying to build the wall till you send them away. That's the only thing that's still broken from the early version of the game. That's a good sign, isn't it? I mean, I was mad at 20 things that were terrible in the game, in the early version of this game. And now just one issue, one bug, survived. Not bad. I can't wait to see next updates. I can't wait to see this game completed. I hope I said everything I wanted to say in the video, in this video. In case I didn't say everything, village is under attack. I will next time. I'm sure this is not the last video about this game. So, well, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.
Thank you.